Hello everyone, my name is Dave and I'm going to show you how to use my intro template. So there'll be a link in, d in the description and you'll get this from downloading it. And you want to right click on it and extract it. Then you'll get this. So if you just open it up and I got a tutorial on how to make the text. So I want to go through it now. So if you just want to look at that. You can open this and mess around with it as well if you want. And this is the te this is the text that we'll be using. And before we go into After Effects, we're gonna need to install. It's like it's a preset, but it's like a plugin as well. So if you just open this, and that's for Mac users. This is for um, Windows. So if we click on this, go down here and click on Computer, um, Windows, Program Files. Adobe and then After Effects. So go into support files and find presets and then look for custom presets. If you haven't got this folder you can just right click and go new folder and wherever. And then you make custom presets. So open that and mine's already there but you'll just have to drag that and drop it into there. So now that we got that. You can just exit out of that and then, then go back to the main folder. And there's some intros, fully customizable. There's two backgrounds that they made. That's the Photoshop background that they, so you can customize that again. But this is the one I've already rendered out. So that's what I'll be doing in the beginning. But if you want to know how to change, like, say, if you wanted to change the theme to red, I'll show you how to do it at the end of the, at the end of the tutorial. But you can have it pink, yellow, whatever colors you want. So we'll get on with the tutorial now. So what you want to do is open up After Effects. Don't up, don't open that one yet, because that one's only if you want to change like the color theme. So now that we got After Effects, I'm gonna go on new composition, and then name it whatever you want. Anything you want. Then go on width and put that to 1920 and height 1080. Then the duration is for 10 seconds. So before we go into making it now, I'll give you an example of the um in the actual intro that we're making. Okay, so that was the intro that we're making. And now we're gonna get on with making it. So go go and grab this file. I normally use my other monitor, but I can't really show you what I'm doing because it just goes off the screen. So just grab that and then put your name or whatever text you you rendered out. And open up the file again, get the graphics, and put it drag it into there again, and then the dirty glass. Drag into there again, and there's nothing else that we need to use in this now for the rest of the to make this actual intro. So what you want to do is drag this, the RV file, down here. So now we got the graphics of the intro, and then you want to drag your name down. Make sure it's above this layer, and then just scale it down. Click. Click on the corner and and then shift so it's scaled down properly. But if you go over to like the part where the stars fully in, then you can position it to make it look tidy with the star. Ooh. Okay, that looks alright I think. So if you notice that the name's always there so we need to make it fade in at a certain point. So I'm gonna do it as soon as the star comes in and as soon as the like little shock wave, that little stroke line of the star. That bit. So just before that, I'm gonna leave the marker there. Click on name and then click T. That'll bring up your opacity. And click on a keyframe and then put it down to zero. Then move across like one frame and then put it up to 100. So now we got this. So it comes in right as that thing goes out. 
Now we wanna we wanna do like the screen pump in though. Actually, before we do that, I know we'll, we'll just put the dirty glass on, so drag it down on top of everything, and then we're gonna get this. But you're gonna have to zoom out. Just use the scroll wheel, and click in the corner again, and click shift on your keyboard, and just drag it down to size, and click fit up to hundred. So now we can't see anything. But go down to here. if you haven't got this mode tab, this this little button down here. Just click that, and it'll be there. Make sure we're on dirty glass and go on linear dodge. You can change the opacity of this if you want. So I'm gonna change the opacity a bit. So again, click on it and then click T. But this time there's no need for any keyframes. So put it down to about 50, I think. Well, yeah, 50. That looks good. You could, you can obviously if you prefer it 100, you can do it 100. But I'm going to put mine down to near enough 50. So, next we want to get the screen pumps. So if you go on intro graphics, click on that and then click LL on your keyboard. And right as the drop, or the, the star like bursts, when the name comes in, go on that frame. And you're going to want to go on layer, new, and then go on adjustment layer. And then click on this tab up here. This is your adjustment layer. And this is where that um, preset comes in. The synchronizer one. So type it. Go into effects and presets. And then type in synchronizer. Or just hit SY. And then grab this. Synchronizer V3. And drop it into the effects bar. So click off it. And click, then now you can click back on. But the song that we use in the BPM is 128. So if you go on the BPM, then change that to 128. And then the next step, we need to get this output near as close as we can to 100. So we need to use the time offset thing. If I move this across a bit. So we need to use this time offset and scale it up to until last 100. Oh, that's good enough for me. Well, as, if it's 90, 98, that, that'll do. So, and now we, and we want to use the transform, so click on that. That little button by there, so the FX comes up. And then range. I put that to 110. And then we should see the screen go in. The screen just came in. If you're going to use a different song, you're going to need to know the BPM of that song. So, I just stick with this song for now. I'll show you how to do it at the end of the video though, to customize it like I said, and change the colors and everything. But now we got this. The screen's pumping all the way through. But we want it right on the drop, on this frame. So if we get the, click on the adjustment layer, and then bring this thing all the way across. I know there's a shortcut for that, but I can't remember the, sh the shortcut for it. So now, this is what we got. I'll, I'll a RAM preview. I don't know how long it's going to take to render. But this is what we got. The audio might be a bit loud, I'm not sure though. Yeah, okay, so we got that. And wait a minute, let's just put the put the adjustment layer above everything. And click off that, sorry. So now we should have the yeah, that looks much better. The name's going as well. So whatever is under this adjustment layer won't be affected by it. Well that's what I'm assuming anyway. I've just learned something new. Yeah, that looks better. So if we preview it again. Yeah, that's better. So that's all. That's all for that now. Just go on composition and with the uh, add to render coup. Co I almost said that wrong. And then just save it wherever you want. Wherever you want. I'm not gonna do it. But I've just left my settings at default. And then click render. So that's it for that um that part of the tutorial. And the next part. 
a minute. Yeah. The next part is how to like change your um the color of the all the like the star, the um background and everything. So you're gonna wanna open up the folder that you downloaded and open up this file. And this is where we'll change all the colours and everything. If that happens, it don't matter because I think it's just the um, that's just the music. So if you delete the music, we're gonna do that anyway. So now, this is what we got. These are all the different parts, and my my quality is like that because I'm rendered it out. Let me just render it for a minute. Okay, so. Now then, now we got this. So if you want to change the color of, say, the stars, go down in this panel, and star one, which is the outer one, the green one. So click on fill, and then you can change it, say, white. Actually, no, we won't go white. We'll go over red color, and then that's red. And star two, if you want to change that, go on fill. Change it to like a, I'm gonna do a really dark red, more of a blacky red. Okay, and now if you want to change the background, go on to find the background, which is this. And you can delete that, then open up this, and then go and this um, file bear, the red one, or the one that you made from from that um this file. Whatever one, just drag it. You don't even have to use this type of background. So just drag it and put it underneath that again. So now we got a red theme. But if you notice, these are red. Well, these are not in our theme now. So these are the um, rectangle one, rectangle two. So again, just click on them, go and fill. Let's change that. This color scheme is not going to be as good as my other one though. We'll put that over orange, I think. Yep, and then we'll change that one to the same. And to change it to exactly the same, you can click on this down there. So that's exactly the same. So now we need to change these. And if I can remember, these are yeah, these are rectangle three and rectangle four. So again, fill. Change it to a different. I'll change it to a different color again. This time it'll be more of a yellow. Same thing again if you want. You don't have to have the same color, but I'm just going to do it because I think it's better. Okay, so now we got that. Now we're going to need to change the color of these bursts and these lines and then these two circles. So the bursts are all done by you. So each burst I'll change to. You want to change the stroke this time, not the fill. So go on the burst and then go on and change all these to. Uh, I don't know. Let's I know we'll change them to black. Okay, so that that was not that one. Just, just don't worry about where you are in the video. So we'll find that one now, actually. So well, it's somewhere by there. But just change all the bursts first, and then you'll see what I mean. So change them all to black, or to whatever color you choose. And the last one, black. Okay, so we got the bursts, which are black now. Um, if we can find them. There they are. Here somewhere. Let me find you. Where are you? Okay, there you are. So now the um, bursts are black. So all we gotta do now is change these um, dashes, whatever you call them, and the circles. So the dash one is this one. Change that to whatever color you want. Again, I'm gonna change it to change that to black, and then change dash two, change that to black. And the dashes are the strokes. Okay, now it's just the circles which are left. So circle one. Let's change that to like a red color. Um, what type of red? Should we go like a light red? No, go with a darker red. 
and you're gonna need to change them um, there and the, this is the audio spectrum thing you're gonna have to change that as well but we'll do that last so go and circle just the normal one to change that we're gonna change that to a bright red and we're gonna change these two to the same so the outer one is circle two and then go on fill grab this and click on that and then the same for the other one then go on circle three go on fill click on that and then click on that and now they're the same so the audio spectrum is a black solid that's what they're called so all we gotta do to change the color is that is click on that one and then go on effect this is different to the other ones that's why i did it last it's so gonna effect controls then you can change these colors but yeah. so i'm just gonna change it to let's change it to the same color as that so then these will change there you go it's blended in it's not quite the same you can You can just like mess around with it. That looks alright to me. And then you go on the next one and then do the same thing. Just do it the same as just like that again. And there you go. Now it's changed. Now we'll RAM preview this. Oh, we missed one. What did we miss? Oh no, we did ch we changed it to yellow. That don't upgrade to that, but it don't matter anyway, you get the like the you get the gist of it. So then this is the graphics. So now now what you want to do is now that that's finished, preview. Now that's all that's finished, just go into project, import whatever music you want, and then make sure you put it at like the the bottom. So we'll get we'll get the same music for now. So copy it into that. Scroll down on this. And then drag it to the bottom. So what I did is I got the waveform up. Just click LL again. And there it is. And then just drag it to the drop. So go find the starburst. The first one. Drag the drop up to the marker. So now on the drop the music like kicks in. And now for to sync their audio spectrums up, you're gonna have to go on black solid, go on effect, then this this audio layer from change that from black solid to the um music you imported. And then do the same for the other one. And now we're done. We're done with the graphics bit. And you can render all this out now. I'll just run preview it for a minute. So that's that, and now you can you can render it all out, and you basically got this. So and then you can follow my tutorial from the beginning. So yeah, so if you render that out, you'll have the intro graphics, but just in a different color, and then you can add that in. The reason you gotta render it out to, is because of the um, screen pumps. If if I try doing the screen pumps in this it wouldn't work it only affect like one layer and it just makes it more complicated so if you do that in there and again for the screen pumps you need to find you need to know that um the bpm of the song so that's it for this tuto tutorial i hope it helped um, i hope you enjoyed it as well but if you did subscribe leave a like or whatever and just i need some suggestions for tutorials if you want any that is so yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.